Good morning, people. We're gonna go hike this island and then get out of here. Slept good last night, but the uh, ground was kind of hard in that spot. Feels like it bruised a hip. I've also been looking around for other things to do, other places to go, but I don't think there's all that much down here. We're out in the middle of nowhere half the time, so once we get to more, I don't know, touristy places, we might have a chance of finding some interesting things to do. Let's go hike this island now. And we've made it to Camden State Park. I'm liking how things are starting to get more woodsy. As you might know, I don't really like hiking in prairies because of the direct sun. Imagine if I hiked in a desert. That's a lot of water. By listening deeply with a quiet mind can we ever fully experience nature. Joseph Cornell. I read it on the sign. <laughs> Most of you will probably know this because you're smart enough to watch my videos, but some people don't know that if you observe things, you can learn things. And if you learn things, you become smarter. I might look dumb on the outside. But don't let that fool you. I'm really smart. Oh, some shade, it's beautiful. But honestly, the sunlight doesn't affect you as much if you're wearing the proper attire. I'm in all my synthetic clothes today, my good hiking clothes, and I'm not as hot, I'm not as wet, because they're made for this kind of activity. I've got a little bit of a sunburn on my shoulders, which is good, because we're making progress. <laughs> Those things rarely ever see the light of day. I'm trying to get them to match the rest. Otherwise, I don't really burn. And now that I think of it, I should probably take the sunglasses off so I don't get the uh, sunglass tan lines, which I probably already have. Magically transported to La Quib Parle, if that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. You know how I am with pronunciation. It never happens to work right. It's another two miles or so, but instead of just refilling my water, I'm going to do what I did on the SHT on the through hike and just chug a bunch of water now. And I'll have about a liter in the backpack, which should hold me over. And by a bunch, I mean probably like a liter chugging. A liter. Yeah, what I just said. There was some flooding here that receded, so the mosquitoes are relentless, so I just put on some bug spray for the first time this trip. Normally when you keep moving, they don't bug you that much, but out here it's been a different story already, so best to be safe than, than itchy. <laughs> the Queen Parle, or whatever, 
It's got a weird layout, so the club trail is towards the lower campground. If you can find that, you drive all the way back in and there's like this loop, and then there's a parking lot on the side of the loop, or not a parking lot, a mowed spot to park in. Otherwise, the park office, main office, is quite a ways away on the road. Sometimes state parks aren't laid out all that great, and sometimes they're like pieced together. It's weird, but pay attention to it. And GPS does not always work to lead you to the state park, or at least the right entrance. Sometimes it'll lead you all over the place. So once you get in the vicinity of a state park, just pay attention to the signs from there and they'll lead you where you need to go. Road signs are usually a lot more accurate than these uh, club trail signs. I absolutely love the style of the shelters and buildings at state parks. The stonework, look at that big fireplace right there. If I ever had a house again or something, I'd want it to be something that has this kind of style. I love this stuff. There's a lot of frogs out here. I keep almost stepping on them. Move! <laughs> Back to where we started. Hey, it's like life. You put in a bunch of work, and all of a sudden you're back to where you started. <laughs> oh, there's so many mosquitoes. Ah, I'm under attack by terrorists. Terrorists in bug form. All right, it's hot in this piece, so I'm gonna try to make this quick because I'm roasting inside this oven of the car. It looks like we are going to uh, uh, Big Stone Lake next. 46 miles away, and another two mile hike. Excellent, let's do it, hurry up, it's hot. Got a lot of lake winds coming in. Hey, South Dakota, could you calm down for a second? South Dakota's on the other side of the lake. <laughs> so this trail kind of just goes down, loops around and comes back on the same trail. So you'll see me back at the car. I'm gonna hang out with South Dakota real quick. Air. Uh. Oh, that is exactly what I needed. Guys, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Every single person counts. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Until next time, remember, life is an adventure, so go out there and start living.